Hey guys, welcome back. This is another update video of the Android and Tab Preview. The Google has released the beta 2 version for the 7.1.1 Android Nougat. And according to Google, there is no such new things added. So here's the official blog post on the Google. You can see that. So according to Google, it includes near final system behavior and UI along with the latest bug fixes and optimization across the system and Google apps. So there was not as such new features added. And guys, to get a more detailed idea, make sure to watch my previous Android 7.1.1 in which I have showed you the top 15 new features and changes compared to the 7.0. And I'm still working on a new video in which I will show you what's new and compared to the Android 7.1 official with the Android 7.1.1 that you should be getting in the December. So I have two devices. This is Pixel XL running the latest Android 7.1 and this is official beta 1 that you can 7.1.1 debut to. The beta 2 brings the manual check for update feature which was absent on 7.1 beta 1 as you can see here compared to 7.0. Now it is same as you can get in the official 7.1 and in the official beta 2. If you go inside the system UI trainer, you will see there is no such option for the split screen swipe up gestures feature which was there in Android 7.0 and it was even not there in the 7.1.1. I thought it should be carried over but still it's not present in the beta 2. The new update also brings the latest security patch level which is now for the 5th number 2016. Speaking of the performance, according to Google, the Dev Preview 2 brings a lot of performance improvement compared to the previous Dev Preview 1. So this is the video as you guys you can see. I have uh, done a speed test between the Google Pixel XL which was doing the latest Android 7.1 with the um, Dev Preview 1 running on the Nexus 6P which was on the uh, 7.1.2. So results were not that great compared to the Pixel XL. But why not compare to the same with the Dev Preview 2? So here are the results of the Geek Benchmark for the Dev Preview 2. Comparing with the Dev Preview 1, the results are quite good. And we can see that both the single core and the multi core score are quite good compared to the what you get with the Dev Preview 1. Now comparing the same N22 benchmark with the Dev Preview 1. So his scores are not that great compared to the Dev Preview 2. All right. But results can change. And if I run that again, definitely I should get a different result. But anyway guys, overall performance, what I felt uh, after starting the yesterday, uh, I did not see any issues, everything is working fine, I did not get any crashes and all, so even I did play it x wall string, and it was 2 or something should be in the background, so you can see, and uh, the games were working pretty much great, so performance is great overall. To install the beta 2 preview, there are a couple of ways, uh, first if your device is non-rooted, then definitely you should get an update, uh, if you still want to install it soon, you should download the factory images. Already I have made a detailed video, you can install that. And the same situation and the same method is also applicable for if your device is rooted. Because if you have rooted, you are not going to install the OTA, it's, it won't fail because your uh, stock recovery has been replaced with a TWARP or CWM, whatever you have installed. So that's it guys, pretty much for this update for the beta 2. And as said by Google, this is complete near final system UI. So these changes are very minor, just what I found I will show you. And I'm still working on a new video. I will show you guys exactly the difference between the 7.1 and the 7.1.1 beta 2 because that update you might get soon on your Nexus 6P and the Nexus 6 and 5X and Pixel C devices. So just want to say thank you so much for watching guys. This is Saurabh. I will catch you next video. Peace.